Hello and welcome. This country is ranked to have the most happiest people in the world. They have crazy high salaries and apart from its high standard of living, the country is very safe. There is free education, there is free healthcare and the locals are very friendly towards foreigners. If you are looking to relocate abroad, then Denmark is definitely a country that you might want to look into. You know what? This might just be your chance because the Denmark government through its appointed agency called Danish Agency for International Recruitment and Integration has just announced that they are looking to fill 110 positions with work-free visa all for foreign workers. These positions include carpenters, plumpers, sales consultants, church clerk, decorators. So it's a whole bunch of um, positions that need to be filled. We'll look into it a bit later on. The Denmark government has what they call a positive list. So a positive list is a document managed by the agency that I just mentioned. And it contains, um, it's like a list of skills that are experiencing shortage in the country. So this list gets updated every time they notice that they need certain skills in the country. And that is what they have just done recently. They have updated this list and they need about 110 uh, positions to be filled based on certain professions. In this video, I want to take you through the list of professions that the Danish government is looking for and also because I can't leave you hanging, I will take you through a list of websites where you can apply for jobs so that you can qualify for this free web visa. There's so much I want to share with you in this video so you might want to watch the video until the end. Before we move further into the video, I would like to apologize in advance because I would like to take a few seconds of your time. If you are seeing my face for the first time, welcome to Dream with Ria's channel where all dreams are made. I am Ria, an IT professional that has been overseas for two years and since then I have committed myself to be of service to you and provide valuable information that will help you land a job and relocate abroad. On this channel, I post job opportunities in the UK, Europe, Canada, USA, Australia, and everywhere else in the world. So if you are someone who is searching for an opportunity abroad, then you might want to consider subscribing to the channel and join this beautiful community where we support each other find opportunities. I'll give you a second to subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. And to my returning viewers, thank you so much, my kings and queens. You are the reason why I keep coming back and getting motivated to make more videos. Don't forget to like this video and share it with everybody you care about. You never know how it will impact them. And of course, liking the video just helps YouTube recommend it to many other people on this platform. Now back to today's topic, I want to move over to my screen so that I can show you the professions that they are looking for. They have clearly specified the professions and the qualifications. And don't forget that the faster you apply, the better your chances are. That are available, you will head over to Schengen Visa. So this is a website that lists all information related to visa requirements or visa information in Europe. So immediately when you come to this page, you will notice it will say that Denmark in need of foreign workers to fill in 110 positions. I'll put the link in the description box so that you can use it when you want to go to this website. And when we go down here, you will see that here they are just giving you some key information on what is currently happening in Denmark relating to shortage of workers. You can read this at your own time. I won't go through it so much, but what I want to go through is the job positions. They have divided these 110 into 72 jobs, which, will, which they consider as highly educated job positions and the 72 jobs include military work, those that are in the field of administration, logistics, office managers, they need these people. And then you also find managers in field of production and services, 
so head of products warehouse manager nursery manager assistant manager so if you have these uh, qualifications that they are looking for here then you do qualify or you are eligible to apply as you move on you can just read through i'm not gonna read through all the positions and then we come to the section of natural science and engineering so they are looking for chemists biologists engineers town planners etc and you will notice that they have the position and the qualifications needed for that meaning that if you do apply for a job and you get it you do have the qualification that is required for the visa in healthcare they are looking for chief physician medical doctors nurses midwives pharmacists and what you see here it says danish authorization so if you are a chief physician you must have a master degree and you must also have a danish authorization now a danish authorization they mean that you should be authorized by a certain body that deals with healthcare in denmark so you know different profession have different bodies where they are kind of authorized to practice so that's what they mean by danish authorization you need to submit your qualifications to get it authorized by the denmark body moving on you can see all of these dietary worker daily manager and they're also looking for teachers so here it is teaching and educational work looking for professors so basically all sort of teachers upper secondary school teacher business college teacher yeah all sort of teachers and then we have the section for economics administration and sales so they are looking for auditors specialist consultant marketing professionals and then the next section is the information and communication technology interesting it those who are on the channel looking for it jobs this is your opportunity and then we have law social science and culture anything related to law it's here technician work in science engineering in shipping and aviation okay technicians in healthcare radiographer they are all here so those were the 72 uh, jobs that they that they consider as highly educated positions and then the 38 job that are open are for skilled workers and these are the skilled ones are things like surveyors what is this drought mean i really have no idea what a drought mean does if we have any droughts men on the channel please put it in the comment section what is it that a drought mean does health professionals they are looking for paramedics and then we have the business and administration associate professionals these are accountant insurance agents sales consultants real estate agents property managers all those nice positions so they are also looking for parish clerk so this is a, a clerk for the church and flora decorator interesting it operators bookkeeping and accounting clerk sales support human resource assistant they are looking for chefs personal care workers so if you are in the caregiver profession and they are looking for bricklayers carpenters 
building painters and decorators these are all skills that are currently in shortage in denmark they are looking for welder okay all this handy handy work bicycle mechanics so all sort of mechanics and technicians yeah so those were the positions 110 positions please take your time in read through and make sure that you understand the qualifications that are needed as well so yeah that was it that was it these are just ads let's go back to the video so what are the next steps if you are interested in the work visa for any of the professions that we just checked through i want to break it down for you a little bit firstly you need to get a job offer from any company in denmark meaning that you need to apply for jobs and get a, a job offer or a contract but no stress that's the next part of this video we're going to discuss the website where you can apply for jobs in this country i know it can be quite hard in today's day and age where there are so many things happening online and you might just also be afraid to apply for stuff online because there are a lot of scamming and whatnot but the website that i'm gonna give you is legit and you can go ahead and apply i know how hard it can be that you just don't have access to information the only difference between me who is overseas and you who is still back in your home country is that i had access to information that certain people didn't have access to but that is why i'm here to give you all this information so that you don't feel left out and you can pursue your dreams so after getting the job offer the second thing that you need to do is apply for the work visa on the Danish government uh, portal so there's a dedicated portal where you can apply for the work visa it's quite easy and straightforward all you need to do is submit your application and in 15 days you are over to Denmark let me quickly show you where you can apply for the work visa on the Denmark government portal I'll also leave the link to the website in the description box so as with any other link that I'm gonna mention in this whole video you are ready to apply for the work visa you will head over to this website so this is the website of the agency that i've mentioned at the beginning of this video the danish agency for international recruitment and integration so it's handling all the work visa or information related to foreign work so when you come to this page and the link will be in the description if you go down it says you want to apply for a work permit so assuming that we have the job offer you will say yes you have an offer then you go down will you be working as a researcher i can probably say no so and down here depending on what visa you are applying for remember that at the beginning i said that we are applying for a work visa under the positive list a list that contains all jobs that are currently or all skills that are currently in shortage in denmark so our visa is under positive list you click on positive list then you come to this page and then from here now you will be asked a series of questions remember on the list of jobs that we just went through there was separation there were 72 jobs for higher education and 38 for skilled work so depending in which category you you fall you will then click on the selection one of these selections so let me say you fall under higher education it will bring you to this page and then you basically just have to follow the instructions that are coming up on your screen and then eventually you will come to the page where you have submitted your documents and you have applied for the work visa 
I just want to encourage you in your process of application and it's not going to be easy. You just have to continue going. It doesn't matter what feedback, or what rejections you get, continue moving on to the next one. Just make sure that you do your part, do the best that you can. Make sure that your cover letter is good, your, your CV conforms to the standard of wherever you are applying and keep it moving. Unfortunately, in this world, nothing is easy and nothing is ever meant to be easy. So we all went through this process of constant application. It doesn't matter whether you submit 20 applications, 20, 50 applications. It does not matter. The number does not matter. The What matters is that you didn't get the job. So just move on to the next one. Continue applying and continue applying. A time will come when your time will come and you will eventually get the job. And that's for sure it's gonna come moving on to where you can apply for jobs in denmark i have three websites for you these are the best ones when it comes to that the first one is linkedin one of the most important websites when it comes to job applications and i'm not gonna demonstrate on how to look for jobs on linkedin i believe most of us are using linkedin and if you are not using linkedin you are busy sleeping on yourself if you don't know how to look for jobs on linkedin maybe you can let me know in the comment box then i can make a separate video on how you can do that the second website we have is called eures so this is a, a a portal a job portal for the european union so all the countries in europe this is where they are posting all their jobs this website lists all the jobs that are available in europe from all the European countries. So I think this is a bonus website for you because you're not only gonna find jobs for Denmark, you will find jobs for all European countries. What I want to show you here is, here are the list of countries. You will see the numbers are the positions that need to be filled or positions job positions that are available in every country and you can see here denmark has 1680 jobs openings so if you click on denmark it will take you to the jobs that are available then you can just go through the job positions and then see the one that you can apply for they are all available the 110 positions that they referred to are all available i want to go back to the previous page so you see here that germany has almost like a million job openings available this is really an opportunity to make use of this website because it gives you options I don't know which country you want to relocate to, but you have more than one option here. So try your luck and do the best that you can. Apply whatever you find there and that or that is matching your experience and your qualification. And you don't have to go through every country. You can also just enter in the search what what uh, job you are looking for and then you can search it will bring up all the jobs in that category not specifically categorized based on country yep so that is eures the third website we have is the denmark government portal so this is where companies in denmark are posting their jobs so it's the official government website this is the Denmark government official job portal. As it says here, work in Denmark. And if you move down here, you will see that there are 3,317 vacancies available on this portal. And if you click on the link that says search vacancies, it will take us to the list of jobs that are available in Denmark as listed by the government. And you can literally go through this list. As you saw, 3,000 something jobs. Production factory for fish industry. So it's a lot of them. 
just go through at your own time and see which one matches your qualification and experiences it will be good if you can also go through the whole website because this is the official website for the government then you can also read some information on how things work in denmark if you are really interested in moving to this country let me know in the comment sections if you have any comments or questions i really do love engaging with you and seeing your comments your reactions really fulfills me and it's the only way that i know that i'm really adding value to you let's make this a little bit fun comment down for me which country you are interested in relocating to then i can make videos um, regarding those areas and where you can find job opportunities help me help you Check out this video coming up next on your screen. It will help you further in your job search. I really wish you all the best of luck in your job application. And I know that you can do it and it shall happen for you. I will see you in the video coming up. Much love from me, Ria. Auf Wiedersehen.